Hey guys, so this is going to be a review of Avel uh, Elevator Pitch by Lynn Wood Barclay. So I don't want to give too much away because this book, you guys need to read it. Um, especially if you're into like crime and stuff. But this follows um, the city of New York and it follows different people. So if you don't follow just like one character, it switches. And um, what I really like about it is sometimes when a book has a lot of characters, it can cause confusion as you forget. Either you forget about that person's story or you get characters mixed up and stuff like that. But Linwood did, did, does a really good job at not causing the confusion. Even though everything is happening, there's no confusion or anything like that. It doesn't feel bogged down or anything like that. It's actually really enjoyable. So amidst all this chaos, um, again, I'm not going to reveal um, all the characters, but it follows a journalist, it follows the whole, it follows a mayor as well. Um, and all through this chaos, um, these crimes are happening with these elevators. And I'm going to say this now, if you have a very, very strong fear of elevators, elevators this isn't going to help because I have a slight fear, only a slight fear. Sometimes I'll get in an elevator basically I don't really like getting them going in an elevator on my own but sometimes I'm in there I'm like imagine if the cables just snap and I'll just plummet I know why would you think that but that's just a slight fear of <laughs> elevators um, especially the ones at work where they are they're faulty and they break down I mean no one's at, it's never broken down with someone actually in it but that's yet to happen but that doesn't help but anyway this book doesn't help if you literally have a fear of elevators but anyway these elevators end up like crashing and stuff and causing havoc and there's like a conspiracy and stuff but it's really enjoyable I will say the final kind of climax is a little bit far-fetched but it is enjoyable like it is enjoyable like that's the fit for me sometimes when things are like a bit far-fetched I'm like okay really but to be fair the whole storyline is slightly not not the whole story isn't far-fetched but it's kind of one of those kind of fantasy kind of things the chances of this the way this was done like that is probably very low so I actually really enjoyed the final epic like event and that one that's what brought my score to 4.5 so originally I was going to rate this at 4 as I'm reading it but I got to the end I was like no 4.5 4.5 but yeah definitely recommend it if you're into kind of if you're into thrillers and crimes this is a really good one so yeah that's it for this review so bye guys